Give to the World Ministries welcomes you to another teaching by Ralphina Dotson. Ralphina Dotson is well qualified to share the message you're about to hear as she lives the principles she teaches daily. As you listen, we trust this message will encourage you, help you grow and develop into maturity as a believer in the kingdom of God. The word you don't know is the word that cannot help you, and the word that doesn't take root can never bring a harvest. Let this message take root in the ground of your heart as you listen to it over and over and take notes. Receive this message. Receive your harvest. Hi, it's Ralphina. I'm so glad to be with you today. This is such a good day. This is a wonderful day. We give you praise, Lord, for this day. We don't take this day for granted. We believe without a shadow of a doubt that you are the most high God. We know that you are faithful and that you love us and that you have allowed us by your grace and mercy to see this good day. And Father, we dedicate it to you and we bring you glory and honor in everything we do. And as in this session of, of sharing with the the people of God, we just want everyone to feel blessed and be grateful for that that we have access to as a result of your mercy toward us. We love you today, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, listen, we got work to do. We're visiting uh, of areas in the spirit, growing in places in the word, developing uh, relationships with one another, dealing with the things that you would have us be uh, prepared to do. You know, I, I started, I have a, an assignment, and I guess you guys know about it. It's called The Great Shout. And uh, this is the 22nd year. I wouldn't you think about it. I can't imagine that we've come that far. But we have been doing The Great Shout now for 20 Two years, this December 31st will be the 22nd Great Shout. And I'm grateful to the Lord because he's trusted me. And the Lord has aligned me with some of the most talented, gifted, loving, uh, dedicated, uh, supportive, encouraging, hardworking people. And for that, Father, I thank you, praise your name for. And uh, so... We're going to be talking about it because December 31st, I don't care where you are, who you're with, what you're doing. When it's time for the new year to come in, instead of you saying, Happy New Year, you're going to say, Jesus is Lord. That's what you're going to say. And you're going to be in the company of others and you have them say it. And we will find ourselves among millions and millions of people globally. We start in Fiji and Samoa and Tonga, and we just ripple time zone by time zone all around the world. We start going westward from Fiji, from, uh, from Tonga. From, uh, uh, we start rippling, just going from time zone. And, and when the new year comes in, Jesus is Lord. The new year comes in, Jesus is Lord. We literally wrap the world with the name of Jesus. And we got believers in every time zone. When I first started, I had 37 pastors. 37 people in ministry that were able to get together in large, small, small, some large groups, but basically small groups, and say, Jesus is Lord. And we started with 37, and we have calculated up to 8,498,331 groups of people globally that have been involved in the Great Child in the last 22 years, and 21 years. So we're, we're excited about this one. I like, to, I like to take people to places so you can see a justification for what we're doing. Uh, Psalm 100. I want you to go to Psalm 100. And it says, um, the, come into his gates with thanksgiving. You know, I, I go to churches and I hear the praise and worship team start out with a song. I went to the enemy's camp and I took back what he stole from me. Well, that's not the way you start off with God. He's not interested in you going to the enemy's camp. He's interested in coming to his gates with thanksgiving. And so this, this, uh, this song says, Shout joyfully to the Lord all the earth. That's us. All the earth. That's us. We're in the earth. We're pe God's people in the earth. Now the people that aren't God's, they don't have to do anything. But if we, the people who belong to him, do it, there's much to be said. Listen, serve the Lord with gladness. 
and delight. Come before his presence with joyful singing. Oh, thank you, Jesus. We're going to sing joyfully and lift up your name. Know and fully recognize with gratitude that the Lord himself is God. Yes, he is. He is all God. He is all God. He's, he's, he's faithful and he's willing to make yourself available to him. And so we do it in Jesus' name. He says, it is he who has made us, not we ourselves, as we are his. We didn't make ourselves. We didn't do, we didn't do this thing, this, this, this creation thing. We didn't do that. We just came into, the, into being as a result of it. It says, we are the people of his and the sheep of his pasture. We are the people, his people, and the sheep of his pasture. That means that we are the, to be fed as a result of that that he has made available to us to feed from. He's fed us the word. He's fed us his, his love. He's, he's given us the source of life that we can draw from. It says, enter his gates with a song of thanksgiving. That's how he wants us to come in. He wants us to come in giving him thanks. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And I, I, you know, we just had Thanksgiving, and, and I asked God, I, I asked the Lord uh, the week before, we started praying about Thanksgiving and how to deal with uh, the world's interpretation of it and all the, the food and the stuff. But for us to just to acknowledge the, 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 the years of our lives and the incidences that we've endured and the times and circumstances we've faced, and we've done them all uh, in, in the midst of trial, tribulation, development of, of, of our being, and we have been sustained and we have been secured and protected to be here today. In fact, that if you lived through all day yesterday and you're here today, you ought to say thank you. <laughs> and we've been living a long time with a lot of yesterdays. And I say thank you. Come into his... Uh, uh, Gates with a song of thanksgiving into his courts with praise. We're going to come in before the Lord with praise and glo bring glory to his name. It says, be thankful to him. Bless and praise his name. Be thankful to him. Bless and praise his name. That's what the Bible says. It says, for the Lord is good. And that is the truth. He is good. He is merciful and kind. I, I, I think about all the times that I've needed God. And some of the times I didn't know I needed him. And he showed up before I even asked. I think of the times that I was praying, but I didn't have any faith that it was going to happen because I felt like I was unworthy. He showed up anyway. And it's just been a wonderful walk with God. His mercy and loving kindness is are everlasting. That's his promise to us. He said, his faithfulness endures to all generations. And so we've come through, we're here as this generation passing it on. We, we're the recipients of the faithfulness of God. We are. And I know that I am, and I'm passing it on to my children, and my children have children, have children, and, and I got great grands, and, and I'm just so grateful to the Lord that he's allowed me to see that. I had no sisters and brothers, no, my mother and father, my mother both died when I was very young. I had no family, it felt like, and here now, I got great grandchildren. That's unbelievable. So I'm so grateful, and so we're going to start out this great year, D December uh, 31st, we're going to do a great shout. We're going to decree and declare that Jesus is Lord. There's a place in the Bible in chapter 115 of the book of Psalms. And this, this is such a tremendous scripture. I want to read it to you. It says, the heavens are the heavens of the Lord. I don't think I, I ever thought about it like that. The heavens are the heavens of the Lord. But the earth has been given to the children of men. And so here we are. God made the earth, this planet, this, 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 this earthly realm. He gave it to, to men. Now, it seems to me like the system, the world, we hear the word world, and I think a lot of people think when you say world, you're saying 
uh, the, the, the earth. But, but the earth is one, it's a plane where the place where God's uh, uh, intention for the living to be. And the earth is not the world. The world is the, a system, the, the order in which things are done, the way things are done. And so the Bible says for us to be in the world, but not of it. We, we don't, we're not in the way that they do things. We're not a part of the, the system that they do use and, and the thinking they have and the, the morals they have. We, he said, be in it, but not of it. We, we, I'm different than that. I don't feel this way, uh, the way the world feels. Everything's not funny to me. Everything's uh, not for entertainment purposes. If nothing, nothing about the world is appealing to me at this stage in my life. Now, I guess I'm uh, in the ugly uh, side of the mean side, the judgmental side, the, the hateful side. The, but I am in the place where I have realized that the reason God has a plan for us is because it is for our good. All of the theories, philosophies, behavior patterns, and uh, characteristics that represent the society we live in, we live in today are ungodly. They aren't pleasing to him. And so here this is said, he says, the earth has been given to men. Ah, the earth has been given to men. That means he's leaving us with, a, with a, a point of authority here. If it's been given to us, then he's holding us accountable for it. And so um, December 31st, we're going to, we don't decree and declare in the heavens with our voices that Jesus is Lord. We're going to say it because we can get, get into more than one. The Bible says well, two or more, two or more gather in my name. I'm in the midst. Where two on earth agree, touch anything you ask, it shall be done. It says one can put a thousand flight, two, ten thousand. I'm asking people just to come together. There's a power in unity. There's a power in the plan of God for us to be in one accord. Uh, uh, Psalm 133. Turn that real quick because I'm just trying to get you aware of all the places God talks about unity and love and one accord and the things of God. Psalm 133. Let's go there real fast. Psalm 133. Now, for those of you who know, you know, you got, um, you got 150 books in the book of Psalms. And I don't know why. My pages are all so crispy and pretty and new. I'm not able to get to them. All right, here we go. Psalm 133 says, Behold, how good. Now think of this, how good. Look up the word good and see all the things that the word good means. How good and how pleasant is it for brothers to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious oil of the consecration poured on the head coming down on the beard even the beard of Aaron Aaron was the very first minister he was a Levite I, his, they were in charge of taking care of the house of God the temple of God even flowing down on the beard of Aaron the people that consider themselves useful to God in the service of God it says coming down upon the edges of his priestly robes, concentrating the whole body. We are consecrating the whole body, consecrate, set apart, and, and made to put in a position of, of beauty and of excellence to make a presentation before the Lord. Set apart to, to serve him and be a, a, a vessel of honor before him. Consecrated, consecrated. Most of us don't even want to think of the consecration. Poured on the head, consecrated, poured on. Here we are coming down to the beard, even the Aaron's beard, and coming down upon the edge of his priestly robes, consecrating the whole body. You are causing your whole being to be in one accord. He said, if my people call by my name, come in to a, 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 an agreement. You come to it together. My people, the people who say they're called by his name, the people who claim him. I think of Christianity right now. We're in bad shape. And, and, and I heard a pastor say that the post-Christian era 
is uh, the, the, we're in the post-Christian era. He said, no, we're in, we're in the Antichrist era. There's no, the, everything about what we do has removed Christ. You know, I think about it, and, and I know that uh, Jesus wasn't born on December 25th, but there was a time for uh, honor or at least a time set apart to acknowledge his birth. Oh, they don't even do that anymore. They call it holiday. They, the schools call it holiday. The government calls it holiday. Everything calls it holiday. I used to go to stores like Hallmark stores where you could get beautiful, beautiful things at Christmas time to send to people to talk about the birth of Jesus and to speak about the wise men and to talk about the angels heralding and, and to speak about that. And now the only time you can find anything that's got anything to do with religion is the religion of darkness because they sell so much stuff and they talk about so much of witches. They got a show on TV they called The Good Witch. They don't have nothing on TV to talk about the good man of God. So I know that our job is now to t take charge of the earth. We are responsible for the earth. God said he gave it to us so that we could take charge of it. And so on December 31st, whatever you're doing, I want you to get your people together. It doesn't matter whether it's a church, a party, a household, a family, a couple. You know, just a few friends together for New Year's to bring in the New Year. Some people, when I, when I uh, first started going to Lakewood Church back in 1980, uh, I realized the new year the new year had come, and it was probably the first time I had a new year uh that I really just acknowledged god i mean i guess i i was i wasn't uh uh i didn't carry on real with great frolic or anything during the new year but 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 the new year became sacred to me here was another t a chance that God has given us. The Lord, the man says, oh, we get another chance. A new year is another chance. Uh, matter of fact, it's 365 chances. Hello. A new year, all these days that are going to be standing before me that I can set up my side and cause them to be something that's pleasing to God, serve him in some way, touch the lives of someone in a way that will adjust their thinking about him. So I'm telling you, plan it. Plan an event. Plan something. Get your people together. They say, oh, the pandemic, we in social distancing. It doesn't matter. Everybody can come and wear their masks if they have to, whatever you need to do. But at some point, New Year's Eve night, you acknowledge Jesus as Lord over the earth, what God gave us. The world, we're not involved in their world. We are part of the kingdom of God. We are in a different place. But we can speak over the earth we stand on, that part of the earth that we have authority over, that we can do something about and, and declare that Jesus is Lord. I love that. I love that. Oh, how sweet it is, how good it is, how pleasant it is. Oh, for the brothers to dwell in unity. And we speak time zone by time zone. Somebody in every time zone is saying the same thing that the people in the time zone before them said. We're doing it at the midnight hour, which is the same hour that uh, was midnight and the year turned in the time zone before us. And we're doing it in this time zone because in the next time zone at midnight, they're going to do it. So that's the form of unity. And let me, let me, let me uh, go to... If, the thing that got me this assignment years ago was a scripture in the book of Genesis. Now listen to this. This is so important to me. When I got a clarity of this, I must have read this scripture 50 times over and over and over for about two years every day I would read it. Now the whole earth spoke one language and used the same words. Now think about that. Now we got people fighting because they come from one place on the earth and, and uh, against people that came from another place on the earth. Or, or you got straight hair, I got curly hair. You got blue eyes, I got brown eyes. I mean, hello. The whole earth spoke one language and used the same words. As people journeyed eastward, they found a plain in the land of Shinar and they settled there. They said to one another, come let us make bricks and fire them thoroughly. 
in a kiln to harden and strengthen them so that they use bricks for stone as building materials and used tar, um, bitumen, asphalt. We talk about asphalt. For years I worked for the petrochemical industry and we, we, when you have a barrel of oil, there are a, a thousand products that can come out of that one barrel. They, they have forms of, of, of tearing and separating the components in, in this barrel of oil and the, the, the lightest stuff, the, the stuff that sits on the top, the stuff that's vapors that comes off of it, that's used in one area of life and one area of our living and one, in one certain industries. And then the stuff that's the heaviest and the thickest and the darkest, it's used in other. And the darkest, heaviest stuff is called tar, and it's used to make asphalt. I thought that would just be a little help to you, you know. It says, let us say to one another, let us make bricks and fire them. Fire them means make the brick and put it in a hot place and burn the thing together. Because it's really just dirt and water. That's all it is. It's dirt and water. But we're going to fire it together and make it strong and harden it and strengthen it and use the bricks for stone as building materials and use the tar, the bitumen, or asphalt for mortar. That means we're going to lay a brick and we're going to smooth some tar over it and stick it to the next brick. And that would become the thing that held hold the bricks together. They said, come let us build a city. Come let us build a city for ourselves. A tower whose top will reach into the heavens and let us make a famous name for ourselves. <laughs> Let us make a famous name for ourselves so that we will not be scattered into separate groups and be dispersed over the earth's surface of the entire earth as the Lord instructed. Here we are. We got it. We, we're in one accord. We're in one accord. But we're in one accord in error. Look at this. Now the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the sons of men had built. And the Lord said, Behold, they are a unified people, and they all have the same language, and this is the beginning of what they will do in rebellion against me. So what did God do? So he says, now no evil thing that they imagine can be done and made impossible to them. Did y'all hear me? They had one language and one voice. They were speaking the same thing at the same time. And it, God, God said, it didn't say, it said, it didn't say that, uh, that he sent angels down. It said he came down. Come, let us go. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit down and there confused and mix up their language so that they will not understand one another speech God calls the div divisions of speech to keep the people from being in one accord in error doing evil and making available their souls for eternity to be separated from him out of the kindness of his heart he fixed it so I couldn't talk to my brother about a scheme and a plan that would cause God to have to turn his back on me so the Lord scattered them abroad from over the surface of the entire earth and they stopped building the city. Therefore the name of the city was Babel because there the Lord confused the language of the entire earth. And from that place the Lord scattered and dispersed them all over the surface of the earth. Now here we got a place where it, God explains why the, the, the need for uh, uh, different groups and places. And depending upon the climate, it's not what you look like. You've got places where it's cold, 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 and snow comes at the top of the, above the equator in northern parts of the earth. Uh, 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 the, the skin uh, had to be a certain type of skin, and all the, 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 the coldness had certain characteristics has become manifest. 
places below, below the, the equator and around the equator, the people had to deal with other elements, the power of the sun and the, the parts of the sun that were required of them uh, to endure extreme heat at times. And so he applied melanin to that skin so that it would endure the heat and not be seared. There's a, there's a plan God had. He wanted us to be in one accord. And he knew if the people stayed in one accord in error, he couldn't save anybody. He couldn't deliver anybody. He couldn't retrieve anybody. But he knew that if he had to come down and stop the language, if God couldn't stop them from building it without confusing their language, Satan sure can't do it. And here we're going to be in one accord saying the same thing at the same time. We're going to say Jesus is Lord, time zone by time zone, all around the world. We're going to wrap the world with the name of Jesus. And God himself will see us the way he wanted us, to be in one accord with the same language, doing the same thing at the same time. And it will bring glory to his name because we are decreeing and declared Jesus is our Lord and Savior. Oh, rejoice and be glad in him, for he is faithful us word we have been given the earth and we speak over the earth the blessings of god and we make allegiance to our lord and savior jesus christ who god came and used the hand of god while they work together to create the, the place where we live the things we have the people we are we are generational inheritors of the creation of god we inherit it and the part of God that he used to breathe into us, it lives in all of us. Now, some don't want it, and they don't acknowledge it, and they have no need for it in their thinking. But those of us who realize we need God, and we accept his word and him to be true, he will show himself mighty and strong. So join us December 31st for the great shout. Time zone by time zone, we're going to wrap the world with the name of Jesus. Go to greatshout.com. I'll see you later. <laughs>